Why are they breaking alliances with me like this? I wonder if it's because of uh, this war with Oromia. It must be. I see no other reason. Yeah, I think it was based off a new four, a new four game, and somebody thought it'd be cool to convert it. Which honestly, I mean, as far as as far as uh, a, what do they call them? AAR, AARs go. Pretty neat outcome, I suppose. Ugh. Get my teeth kicked in. Come on, man. Over there. Yeah, I don't think the Scandinavians stand much of a, ch a chance here. There's not much of a chance to be stand to be stood here, as they get hammered by both the uh, by both me and the Russians. Are they a great power now? Not yet. No, I agree. There's a certain lack. Of, there's a certain lack of directionality for that. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh. I'm still. I. I. I for, for all they achieved, though, I'm still pretty. It's. It's pretty impressive what they managed to achieve here. But yeah, I agree. There's a certain point where we're just like, eh, this is just like a fantasy, you know, a little silly. It's nice to have a few silly things sometimes. What the f... This is a nightmare. The United, the United Republic is just getting scalped alive. And take over Stockholm. Our forces are under attack. That's fine. Yeah, everyone's breaking their their alliances with us. We're at war with Venice? Why? Oh. Is there allied to Oh, they're allied to United Republic, I see. I'm missing out on this war though. <laughs> yeah, they're all breaking their alliance. They're all being silly. They're breaking their alliance on me. They're all mad. I have to deal with the United Republic at some point as well since they're the war leader. I don't have to worry about Burgundy, thankfully, because they're my ally now. What do you want? Oh, it's one of those bugged wars. Good. Go to Mogadishu. Do you maybe know the release date for Mayo 3? I do not. I have not been I haven't been following the uh, the releases of Mayo. I think the last time I had a major Mayo campaign was the big release of 2.0, I think. 
I think that's what this, that was the last time I followed them pretty closely. Because I remember that being a big event. Get out of here. I swear, I've sort of been... I haven't played you for that much lately. It's my own. Keep going. Gavla. Ooh, I have the install fascism CB as well. Ah, oh, that's right. I forget. It's been so long since I've had a... I've turned either fascist or communist that I totally forgot you had that auto CB on that. I won. Good for me. Just gonna sit here for a bit. Oh no, not Albania. And, uh... Pursuant. Okay, you can go to Helsinki. I can maybe, once I take over the western part here of uh, Norway, I can maybe just move on to uh, England. We take over Scotland and move this south from there, as I had originally planned. Try to drive up some more war score. Okay, can you finish that up, Ethiopia? Be pretty please. of March and 15th of March. Uh, I'm not too worried about engaging these guys. Factory stinks. Finally. And Wurttemberg is still a damn... <laughs> it's on track to becoming a great power. I cannot believe this. Koreans! Why would you abandon my alliance? The holy, uh, the holiest of alliances. What the? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, it's part of the Third Great War. This is a disaster. Ending conquest of God. They're just outright conquering each other over here. Beornia's had a really rough time here. They're, they're in the... Not Argentina is in the pickle. Mayo is a. I don't. It's 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 sort of a. It's it's a difficult mod to get used to. There's so much going on there. It's fun. I mean, once you get into it, it's it. It can be really really good. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before. That the. The way they handle plagues and everything, I really like that. It's really something that you really have to worry about in the early game. There we go, Helsinki is ours. Just the overall, the way the way they handle things overall is much, much cooler than the original U4. But the performance though, oh boy. It's, a <laughs> it's one of the biggest uh, turnoffs, I guess, for, for Mayo is the performance is just abysmal. Really hard to... Really hard to get used to how it handles. It is rough. 
Good, Ethiopia has all its core territories again, except for this, which was never its core. Diplo Annex. I don't remember. What's the difference in, in Mayo between uh, regular Diplo Annexing uh, that you can't just... Uh, I'm guessing if you're having difficulties there and it's weird, you can't just click a button. It's been a while. I don't really... I don't remember how the hell they handle that. Bamako. Okay. Going. Just, just mulch a, f a few Scandinavians up here, and we're gonna be ready to move on to this to Scotland. We can let the Russians take care of that. Some X decisions and other stuff that I don't understand. Hmm. I'd have to look into it to, to remember, because I don't remember how they handle it. As, as with most things Mayo, I'm guessing that it's mm, significantly more involved, and you have to sort of do a lot of... Uh, not as much clicking buttons, but just steering the boat in the right direction. Sort of how, you know, uh, assimilation wor assimilation and, uh, and coring kind of works in Vicky. Uh, it's a much more passive process. Yes. Thank you for your cooperation. Or that. Here. Y'all go home now. Oh yeah, po I, that I do remember. I do remember Poland having a lot of subjects. That can be a bit of a problem. Okay, what can I do here? I got all those... Nothing really that I want to pass here, though. Yeah, sure, get your... get your frickin' pensions. Damned rates. People are mostly happy. Good. Leave admin at 65% to re to have good, better crime fighting. Troops are on the way. You're gonna be back in Riga. St station your ass. You're gonna go back to Kiel. All right. Now all I have to do is watch a. Uh, Watch Burgundy mul mulch the, uh, <laughs> the United Republic. Man, oh man, what a shit show. And now I get to, we get to see the Scandinavians blow up. I can't wait. Come on, give me Finland. Uh, t -t -t yeah, leave him alone. Oh, now you want to be my ally. See how it is. Oh yeah, Dracula. I meant to say when you re when you uh, recommended a book and Quiet Flows of Dawn. I tr the Dawn? Yes, the Dawn. I tried to search for that in, on Amazon. A few booksellers nearby where I where I live. And man, oh man, it's apparently the book is out of print and it is hard to find it. I'm guessing I'll have to find a PDF somewhere. Or another sort of copy. Great, we won. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting to see a be out of print like that. It's rare to find books nowadays that are just out of print like that. Maybe if I maybe if maybe if I lived in Eastern Europe, I wouldn't. 
<laughs> I will be able to get more copies. But then again, I won't be able to read it because I don't know any Eastern European languages. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Uh, what next? African farms and mines. Yeah, that's exactly what I That and... There's an option to reform the uh, colonial army. I need naval logistics. There we go. Imreti wants a. I guess that's fine. Really? You're under the influence of. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna ask. Come on. I think I think we have to wait until this this war. Uh, ends so that Burgundy, not Burgundy, Scandinavia can blow up. Medium artillery. You guys are gonna go in here or what? Come on, get back, get your ass back into gear, go home. Rubber, good. Okay. Oh yeah, I did I did see that there was a show in a movie when I was searching for the book. I should really get back into reading more. I used to read a lot back when I was in college. And before that. Thirteen written. It's kind of a small Oh wow, most of my dreadnoughts are over here. I built two more. Ain't gonna hurt no one. Fascism is an extra animal. Uh. Albania, sure. Uh, yeah. Surprised that we're subsidizing small arms factories at this point. The world is a war. You think there'll be high demand for this stuff. Wow, we are the number one producer. We're big time the number one producer. Not in high demand. Really? <laughs> There's a giant war out there, and guns are not in high demand? What is this? What a travesty. We also have some more exhaustion, so our economy is going to be a little bit shitted. Ah, uh, yeah, right. They're going to be influencing. I don't care about that. I'm going to try to influence Gran Colombia so that maybe I can get the Undagoya, the not Panama Canal. Just for, just for clout. Russians out of there. Man, I feel like the, the RGOs for these provinces have changed like 50 times now. Like, this used to be oil, it is now coal. This used to be a fruit? I don't remember what this was. Now it's iron again. This is nuts. Won't be that many colonies to get from the Scandinavians either, but it would be nice to get uh, maybe some more of their Indi their uh, East Indian holdings. I would like to get this Makassar. They have more oil. How's the oil production in the world these days? Anyways, oil. Oh, we're not we're not even Grand Colombia's number one. Oh right, yeah, because they own Texas and. Out of that area, that makes sense. What about fuel? We're not even in there, wow. We are shit when it comes to uh, oil and fuel production. Flippers, huh? to liquids. 
All right, this is uh, one of those factories that makes uh, synthetic petroleum. Which, which is useful because of how many, just the sheer amount of... Uh, the sheer amount of coal that we have. Uh, we could add a coal liquefaction factory here and here. That might be helpful. Sure, why not? Okay, now we can recruit even more troops from our gigantic colonies. Let's get some throwaway text here. Wurttemberg is like in this vortex of being a great power and not being a great power. We're just kind of stuck in it. <clears throat> Let's see. Albions are getting their teeth kicked, wrenched, pulverized. Wow, they actually succeeded in launching an invasion of their of the uh, the English island. Amazing. This war shouldn't last very. Oh my God, do they are they claiming a lot of shit? Acquire Champagne. Acquire Anglo-French New Guinea. Acquire South Finland. <laughs> and this war began because they wanted Karelia. What were you thinking? It's like the... Oh my god, it's like the Winter War, but a nightmare, nightmare version of that. This is the... <laughs> This is a disaster. They have one prestige. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh dear, and it's gonna get much worse. I wonder what they're gonna look like when they're dismantled. Okay, yes, Japan, you may have an alliance. Come on, Korea, let's be buddies again. How can how can you not want to be friends with friends with this? Oh wow, I can eat Vietnam for five points? For five infamy? Korea's friendly. Yeah, yes, this is East Asia. I can't believe Java's still alive. And they're a civilized nation too. Look at that. The little nation that could. I believe they can form like in Indonesia. I, I think. Oh, you can't have access. Wow, we can recruit a lot more. Uh, sure, let's uh, let's get an extra regiment going. Why is there an unsub nation in 1926? So, I don't know. I mean, in some, in some time, even in other mods that I've seen, they just never managed to civilize. I guess either because of uh, revolts. There are a lot of times they get stuck in this loop where they have, their militancy is so damn high because of their attempts to westernize that they keep getting a reactionary revolts and they just keep crashing and crashing and crashing over and over again, and they're stuck in this loop. Uh... Some nations can just break that cycle and just go ahead and, and civilize themselves, but it's it's not very easy. These being stuck as just primitives kind of is worrisome. Shalok is primitive, but they're a satellite. I released them just to burn infamy. 
I haven't played an unsiv in a very long time. But uh, it can be fun to see your crappy little nation become a force to be reckoned with. More dividends, yes please. I'm guessing there's not a high supply of barrels out there, huh? I like how they're called barrels, not like tanks or anything. We're number one producer of uh, that, but it looks like... It's like there's not enough out there. You ever play a theremin? That's an interesting question. I have not played a theremin, but I do like the way they sound. It's sort of in a creepy little ethereal sound. They're very cool. They're very, th very cool to see them being played as well. Wait, that is the instrument, right? A theremin is one of those where uh, it's like an electronic instrument. Or am I thinking of something else? What am I thinking about? I think I'm getting instruments confused. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of an Ons Martino. Theremin is a is an acoustic is an is a not a not acoustic, but I guess a manual instrument. I'm I don't know why I thought of an Ons Martino instead of a theremin. I am terrible with my instruments. <laughs> But no, I have not played a theremin. To answer your question, Lacey Fox. General Vaklov Shirovi. Dead. Sorry to hear that. Build my factories. Theremin is an instrument in Russian. Okay, so it is an electronic instrument then. Okay, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not wrong then. I I, I think I was getting them confused, but maybe I'm right. Water phone. I think I've heard of water phone. I have to look that up, look that up. It's uh, like I said, I'm uh, my memory is, is is shot. Every time when I hear something, it's like I'm fairly sure I heard about this, but I'll have to check. <laughs> this sounds pretty cool though. I'm gonna do right, build another set of uh, groups here to die for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's good enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, one of those. Give me one armor, give me one of those, give me one of that. Factory stinks. That's okay. Yes, I'm gonna burn through money because I have a lot of it. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, no, Russia! Come on, man, please. I, I wanted to release Finland. Ah, this is just. I'm gonna have to go to war with Russia now to liberate Finland. This is a disaster. Okay, they found oil in Palembang again. I'm losing money. This is just not right. Oh dear. Oh no, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Sorry, I hit my microphone because I couldn't stand looking at this. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, this is horrible. I hate it. It is revolting. <laughs> Kidnapped the guy who vetted the theremin and then vetted yourself only to get 100k prestige. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? Is if this is going to follow the rules of the game that are happening so far, Switzerland is going to get that event. And they're going to become the number one world power and they're going to screw with my sphere of influence for the, for until the end of the game or until I just like destroy them. This happened. I had to declare war on Switzerland earlier because they were a great power. With like, they were they were like number one in in uh, prestige or something. So I had to take them down a notch. This is horrid. <laughs>